Today's Unsung Hero is sponsored by Whitefish Credit Union. Well, we know this past year has been a time of uncertainty, of change, and of worry. It's also, though, been a time for people to step up when it really matters. And we wanted to recognize those unsung heroes who have gone above and beyond in a very challenging time. Whitefish Credit Union and KPAX have partnered to honor eight heroes nominated by you. These unsung heroes received two VIP tickets to the Under the Big Sky Music and Arts Festival. It's all because they have made a difference in their community. And tonight's unsung hero story begins November 12th of 2020. And that is a night many Columbia Falls residents will never forget. As a car smashed through the glass entrance doors and into the Super One grocery store, leaving a trail of destruction and chaos behind. And it was the night manager on duty who suddenly found herself in charge of a dangerous and confusing situation with panicked customers trying to dodge this runaway driver. As MTN Sean Wells tells us, it was the night Aaron Chappell's leadership skills were put to the test. It still baffles me. Um, it is just, it was God's hand all over it. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. There's, it's, it's, people should have been hurt. People could have easily been killed. One minute and 20 seconds. That's how long a car barreled up and down the aisles inside the Super One grocery store. As security footage given to MTN News shows bewildered workers and customers running for their lives. Hit the first register and shove it into the middle aisle and just going up and down the the one aisle and then turn around and come back. Super One evening manager Erin Chappell was 20 feet away from the sliding glass entrance when she knew something was very wrong. Customers yelled that someone hit the door, so I went around to see what was going on and about the time I got almost to the, the second set of doors, the car was coming in through the the second set. Erin and her co-workers took charge immediately, quickly ushering customers out of the store. It's like, okay, we need to get everybody out of here. Don't know what the situation is. It, they just needed to be in a safe space. Left behind was a scene straight out of a disaster movie as Erin and her co-workers raced down the aisles looking to help anyone in distress. That was probably the most nerve-wracking part of it because we just didn't know if anyone was injured because there were a lot of downed shelves and crushed shelves and it just, it took us a little bit to go through and make sure that there was nobody under anything. Aaron tells MTN News that once the scene was cleared, dozens of residents called in asking to help clean up the entire store. Thankfully, after all this chaos, they were back open by seven the next morning. Maybe half an hour after everything happened, I started getting phone calls from people in the area, other businesses wanting to know if they can come help and clean up. And once it was safe to do that, people were just more than willing to come help us get situated. Super One store director Hope Renfro says Aaron worked through the night cleaning the entire store, a true testament of her character and leadership abilities. She goes above and beyond every day, and on that night, she definitely did. In Columbia Falls, Sean Wells, MTN News. Watching that video, it is incredible that nobody was hurt. Now, Erin, of course, is a humble hero in this story. Her co-workers, though, say they are so grateful she was there leading the way. The man prosecutors say was driving that car? Alan Roger Connor Jr. has pled guilty to charges of criminal mischief and criminal endangerment. He remains held in the Flathead County Detention Center with sentencing set for May 20th. If you would like to nominate an unsung hero who has made a difference in your community, visit whitefishcu.com slash we see you.